guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a video about finding the perfect winter coat. So for me, when it comes to winter, I am literally the coldest human being on this planet. I am one of those people that needs a duvet around me like 24 seven and I am still cold. So for me, a winter coat has to go past my bum and I do like it to have a hood, but I am gonna show you a couple today that don't have a hood because I just love them and I wanted to try them out. And obviously some people aren't like me and don't need to have a hood and they don't need a blanket around them 24 seven. So I have done an ASOS haul and I've got lots of different brands from ASOS and they have like really different price tags. So I will go into detail of each one, how much it is, if I think it's worth the price, like what I feel the benefits are, what the drawbacks are, what the sizing is like, and so on and so on and so on. So if you like this kind of video, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel because I do post loads of fashion-y kind of videos. So if you like what you see, then I'd love to have you as one of my viewers. But with all that said, let's get straight on into coat number one. Okay, so the first coat I wanna show you is this one. It's $57.99 and it's by Pimkey. So um, I think the price tag is really, really good. It's got its fluffy hood, which I like, and it is long past the bum. And if you open it up on the inside, it has this really fluffy top half. Um, it doesn't go down your arm, so it's just round your head in the hood and kind of on your chest and back area on the coat. I got this in a size medium, and when I tried it on, I did think it came up a little bit big. So I'm usually like a size 10. I know my top half's smaller because I've got no boobs, but I would probably buy a 10 all over, maybe an eight at the top. But especially for a winter coat, I would usually get a 10 because of my hips. So I'm gonna do it up for you and I will show you what I mean about it being, I mean, it's nice, it's roomy. And I suppose if you're gonna be wearing a thick jumper underneath, it would probably be all right. But I don't know if you can see, there's quite a lot of movement in there and that's where I am and that's where this goes to. It does have a drawstring though, so obviously you can tighten it and make it fit your body a little bit better. But this is what it looks like. It's got a really cozy hood. The hood actually goes right over your eyes. So if you're out and about, that's not that convenient. But maybe it's because I've got a bit of a big size, but if I push it back, it still goes over my eyes actually. So, and I mean, most of the time I don't wanna see my kids, so that's a, not a problem. <laughs> okay, let's get on with coat number two. Okay, coat number two is from New Look. It's $44.99 and it's a tailored maxi coat. It's one of those coats that looks like it's got a belt, but it's just one of those kind of fake belts at the back. It's really, really long. I got this in a size 10. Let's have a look. So I do think this is a really smart coat. And $44.99, I suppose it could be like your second winter coat, kind of your like smart one on going out days. So it is super duper long right down to my calves and it's got a split either side there. I really like this actually. I think that's really good fit as well. And I think it just does look really smart. And if I do it up, yeah, really good fit. So this is a size 10, like I said and it fits really snugly. And I think if you had like a nice chunky scarf on as well, that would look really lovely. Okay, coat three is this kind of um, army print coat. When I saw this online, I loved it straight away. It's 115 pounds. So it's definitely not one of the cheapest ones, but it's got like really padded bits in each section. It feels really quite heavy actually, like it's a good quality coat. It's by Mumalicious and I got this in a size small and it's got, it's kind of like says it's two coats in one. It's a coat and it's a jacket. I don't really understand how that is. But basically what you can do is unzip this front panel to make it smaller. So I will show you, I'll demonstrate. And obviously it's got a hood, which I love for me is essential. Oh, so this is a small, and I would actually say that's still quite, feels quite roomy on the arms. I was gonna get a medium, but they had sold out. So I'm glad that I didn't get a medium. But this is it in the kind of bigger coat. I'll do it up. So I guess this is if you had like a really chunky jumper on it. It's very, very roomy. It's a bit like a duvet, so this makes me happy. It goes to just above your knees. And it's got the vital hood. I quite like that. It does feel very, very warm. So now I'm gonna take out this front panel bit here and it makes the coat a lot smaller. So let's see what it looks like. 
Okay, so this is the coat with the front panel taken out and it fits so much better now. It actually feels like a really nice fit. So this is actually quite a good idea for a coat because Christmas day you want to include the panel. On a day where you're feeling quite fat, you know, you want some more to eat, Sunday lunch, you include the panel, or if you've just got a big jumper underneath, I'm just always thinking about eating food. And then when you're feeling like you wanna make the coat look a bit more fitted and you're feeling a bit slim that day, you take the panel out. I think this is a really, really cool coat. It's got two little pockets on the side. Quite like this. Okay, next up, we have this teddy bear coat. I mean, I'm absolutely loving teddy bear coats at the moment. This is an ASOS own brand one, so it's an ASOS design, 65 pounds, which I think is really reasonable. And again, it has got like the fake buckle belt at the back. It doesn't have a hood, but it's a teddy bear coat. Let's try it on. I got this in a size 10. Feels quite nice and roomy. It's got some pockets, but they've been sewn up, I guess, until I decide to keep the coat. So this is what it looks like undone. I think that's a really good length as well. Kind of two inches or so, three inches above the knee. And then if I do it up, I don't know, I feel like maybe it's a little bit big for me. Everything seems to be coming up quite big. It's not that I've lost weight for sure. It's just, I think everything's coming up quite big. You can put the collar up and make it real nice and snuggly. I love this. Again, I think at the moment, I've just got like a thin roll neck underneath, but maybe if I put a jumper on underneath, it might, make it a little bit sort of better but to me i would say i need an eight but then it fits really well around here so <laughs> this is my trouble things fit well around here in a size 10 but then because i've got no boobs they're too big for me up here i really like this coat right next up i'm going for a brand this is a vans coat it feels very very warm it's got poppers down the side so if you want to like let a bit of air in because you're a bit hot you can open that up and expose a leg i suppose and it's got a hood and yeah it just feels very very warm 170 pounds though this was and i got it in a size small so i'm going to undo all the buttons and see what it feels like this is a black coat and it obviously does have the vans logo there i'm not sure if you guys are keen on logos being exposed. Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. I kind of, oh, this feels very nice. Oh, that's really nice. You know when you can like tell when something's a bit more expensive? I'm not sure about this being there, to be honest with you. If that wasn't there, I'd like it even more. This is the hood up. Oh, that feels so nice. It fits really nicely, this small. It's got two pockets either side and it goes just above the knee or sits kind of on the knee. I'm gonna do it up now. Also, the zip is really easy to do up. Yeah, on the army print coat that I just showed you, I found the zips quite tricky sometimes to do up and down, but I don't know if that would just kind of wear in with time because it's new, but this just goes straight on up. This feels so nice. I know this would be really, really warm. And then like I said, it's got these poppers at the side. So if you wanted to expose a leg, you could. It's got them both sides. Like that. And it goes really high up the chin, so it covers your whole neck. So if you put a little scarf down there too, you would be so super warm. 170 pounds though, guys. I feel it's worth it, it feels worth it. It fits so nicely. Yeah. This is like one of those coats that you would invest in and you would have it for years and years and years and years. Right, when I did this shop, this was the coat I was actually most excited about. This is the most expensive. It's 249 pounds. It's a reversible coat and it's by Urban Code. I've just got it out of its packaging. It feels so soft. It's got a hood, guys. Oh my gosh, it's not real, just so you know. Um, but look at this coat. How amazing does this look? So you've got like folks fur, folks, is that how you say it? All over the arms, around the hood. And then, like I said, it's reversible. It isn't a zip, it's just buttons all the way down the front. Oh my gosh, it just feels amazing. 
be so like heavy as well. So, like I said, it's reversible, so I'm gonna show you it on both ways. Inside, it is just full of snuggly fur. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is why I should never buy things like this because I just want to keep them. But first of all, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is the best. Oh my word. I think I need to show this to Chris. The hood does go over the eyes a bit, but I literally, I couldn't hear anything. If you were talking to me, I had no idea what you're saying because all I can do is hear my own voice. Chris, come and look at this coat. Oh my gosh, he's gonna say, send it straight back. I think this suits me. How nice is this coat? Stay there, let me show you the other side. If I was ever cold, this coat would sort me right out. I actually prefer the other side, if I'm honest. This is brilliant, I wouldn't need to see Chris or the kids. Oh my gosh. The other side's better, which suits me because this is much warmer. So even though it's a reversible coat, I would still say it's a little bit big. Right, next up, I'm gonna show you this Stradivarius coat. This is $79.99. I got it in a medium. This again has got a hood and fur on the inside. After trying on that other coat though, guys. Oh, actually, this feels quite nice. Oh, actually, it's not quite as long as I would have hoped for. Kind of goes just below the bum and the hood is like that. I actually quite like this, just plain black, no labels on it, which is quite nice. Let's do it up, very warm. And I would say very true to size as well. Like I said, this is a medium of the zips going up so well. The zips are a bit sticky. Oh, the pockets are lined with fleece. That's really nice. So if you stick your hands in there, that is warm. This fits really, really nicely. And if you can see on the cuff, it's got a stretch a bit around the cuff and then the padding goes over it so no breezes are gonna get up there. So for 79 99 I think that's quite nice. Apart from this one pocket doesn't open, which is a bit annoying. The next one I have got is this ASOS design coat. This was 65 pounds. And if you think of winter, I think you're gonna think of this coat. If you think of like a duvet surrounding you, this is the coat you guys need to buy. Can I just show you how long it is? Just look, like, can you see? That is like nearly at my ankles. It is such a long coat. This is a size 10. And again, I feel like it's really big. I'm gonna do it up. I mean, look how, look how low down I have to go to do it up. So for 65 pounds, I think this is a really good coat. You've got a hood. It's not fluffy or anything like that. It's just like kind of this material on the inside. It's a shiny material, but this is a size 10, like I said, and it is massive, guys. You definitely want to go down a size, but it feels very, very warm and cozy, and it's got lovely big pockets too. Okay, so next up we have this Jack Wills coat. This has got a little badge on the side that says Jack Wills and it is a kind of green khaki waxy kind of coat. This is a size 10, it was 149 pounds and it feels really, really good quality. So I quite like the texture of this. It feels like it is gonna be rain resistant. I don't know if it's like waterproof, but it definitely feels like it's resistant. So I'm gonna try it on. The zip's really, really good actually. It feels like some of the zips I've been trying on the coats with have not felt so good. Oh, this is very true to size, that's nice. So this is very, very true to size. I am, like I said, a 10 down here, and that fits me quite snugly on the bum. It feels very, very warm. Let's put this up. Oh, I like this. I'm not really someone who likes logos on the arm, but I don't actually mind this one. It kind of looks a bit like a Can Canadian goose, Canada goose, Canada goose, Canada goose. <laughs> Something like that. So it looks a little bit like that, but honestly, this feels like such a nice, warm, thick coat, and I like it because the hood doesn't come down too far. On all the other ones that I've shown you, like the hood kind of covers my eyes, but on this one, it doesn't. It just sits in the right place so you can see exactly what you're doing. I've got funnels so I can hear as well. Um, yeah, I really like this coat. 149 pounds, so a bit pricey, but I do feel like this is a coat that would kind of take you through the whole winter and you'll probably keep it for a while as well. 
Another good feature about this coat is that, look, you can zip it right up here. It keeps your neck really, really warm. So that is very snuggly. Right, the final coat I'm gonna show you today is this green, it's like a bottle green coat from Esprit. This was 99 pounds and I got it in a size small. It comes with a little buckle belt around the middle. It feels really nice, it's quite light, but you know, a puffer coat can be quite light, I guess. Let me have a little try on. It's got loads of different like rib detail. So that bit goes sort of horizontal, whereas this bit down here goes vertical, and I think that adds quite a nice little feature to the coat. Again, it is going past my bum, and it's got a hood, so it ticks all the boxes. Oh, and inside it's got a little bit of fleece lining at the very top, just to cover your shoulder area. So let's get it on. So like I said, this is a small. I like this because it's not just your average kind of black or blue coat, it's a bit different and I do love green, it's one of my colors, it really suits me um, because I am like a autumn kind of color. Yeah, so I do like a little coat that's a bit different, not gonna be the same as everyone in the playground. I like the belt detail, I think that kind of like cinches you in there so you look a bit thinner because sometimes I find if you're wearing a puff coat, you can look quite like blockish and like fatter than you are. So this is nice because it cinches you in at your smallest part just kind of above your hips, so at your waist area. So I just think it makes you look so much thinner. So it goes about four or five inches above the knee, which is still a really, really good length. It's got two big pockets, all oh, that are fleece lined either side, and it has got a hood too. And then if we do this up, this has got a tiny bit of branding here. I think that's a really, really lovely coat, actually. And like I said, because it's got the different kind of panelling, it's got the vertical lines here, horizontal lines here, and then your hood, your cinch. I think it looks really, really, like, classy. I think this could be a coat that you could wear during the day, or you could obviously dress it up and wear it at night too. But it goes right up to your neck as well, so it keeps you super warm. Right, so that's the end of my coat try on and haul for you. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you a little bit of help when trying to find the perfect winter coat. Let me know which one was your favorite or which one suited me the most as well. But thanks so much again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.